the story. You are so story, awesome right now. That story <laughs> went nowhere. Street McDonald's. I did six months at King Street McDonald's. Fuck, Frequently probably, on dining room. I probably came in at 4 a.m. in the Valiant Wagon and just ordered the menu. I was peeling the fucking gherkins off the windows. Yes, I used to do that. That was me. Yeah, and spitball everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gherkins was great. Yeah. Do you know, I, on my, when I, they trained me on Fry, I was on Fry Station. I was so dumb. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a fucking award winner now, but something dropped in the fryer and I actually went, to get it. Oh. They pulled me back and I was like, oh, hot oil. Oh, like, fuck. Yeah, it was absolutely You would have come out like Terminator with yeah, like yeah, just yeah. that. Like, that's where they're like, you're on dining room for the rest of your days. So you were just cleaning from now Yeah. Fuck. And the toilets, King Street McDonald's. Oh, spew. Spew, just everything. You were glassy at the Dell. I was like, I did not know anything about anything. Yeah. And I went in there early and I tidy up the places I rolled in the kinks in the morning. I do all that and then I would set the pub up for open. Yeah. And me being a little bit anal, a little bit OCD, I'd like really over clean things and then I'd set up the pool tables so that the first punters in there would get a free game of pool. Nice one. Marketing. That is so And nice. he thought that was the most ridiculous idea and he almost fired me because of it. Give some pricks a free game of pool. I was like, but incentive to come into your pub and start drinking yeah. at 10 a.m., bro. But then I think he probably knew that all he had to do was just sell beer. And just... Just fucking let people get on it. <laughs> Just let them get on the so door. Like, this is where it's you need pop. to be. There's beer here. If you pay for it, you can have it. Scooies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first kiss actually happened up at the multi level car park in Armadale when I was at boarding school. And I was standing on a skateboard because she was a bit older. Uh, she had braces. I just didn't know what I was doing, but I had a crack. Yeah. Do you remember Camp Yon Dale? No. Camp Yon Dale out near the lake. Oh, yes, the one yes. That around from. Uh, Around from like uh, where my folks live, yeah, like around yeah, yeah. there. Sort of towards Catherine. Quite a bit of real estate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's gone now, but mm. Camp Yondeo used to be a sort of uh, frequent like uh, camping site. And uh, there's again a spin the bottle. And uh, I got Damien Kylie, who also had braces. Boom. But I don't remember that being part of the experience. I don't remember anything. I blanked out. I was like an impala being devoured and just kind of lost consciousness. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Back in the day, I do recall quite some random kisses like passions at yeah. the JR, yeah. and then out into the car, outside the car park at the JR, yeah. drive up to the car park up where you used, up Brighton Avenue, the, the, what, do you, what do you call it? The big car park on the beach. Yeah. Oh, Bar Beach. Bar Beach. Bar Beach car park. You'd go up, you'd park there right next to the surf, yeah. make out. Good luck getting a parking space there now. Right, 